So after the German airstrike, which had no effect uh, on my task force out in the North Sea, initiative changed. I won the initiative, so we check for weather. Uh, the weather stays good. Um, it changes on a six um, from good to bad. So what am I going to do? I think the first thing I want to do is just um, get my task force that is currently in um, Scarpa Flow. That's marked off the map. Um, but we're going to try and bring that in as a reinforcement. Now, the first action I can do before that is a reorganize, which allows me to split um, ships currently in a task force into multiple task forces. I don't think I'm going to do that at the moment. Um, I'm not experienced enough in the game to know whether that's a good or a bad idea, but for the time being, I'm quite happy with that blockade where it is. And if we need to split later on, we will do so. So I'm now going to try and uh, bring in some reinforcements um, uh, from Scarpa Flow. It'll give me more options. I succeed on a um, a unmodified die roll with a seven or above. If I don't, then I lose um, initiative. So, but without anything else to do, I've got nowhere really I want to be. Uh, I don't see that I have much option. Um, I could shorten the convoy, but that too would lead to a, a um, loss of initiative. Um, so let's go. If I'm successful, I keep the initiative. So I don't think there's much uh, to be gained by not trying. So I want a seven or above. Nope, I failed to get the reinforcements. Uh, they're not ready to emerge. Uh, that's a bit of a blow. Um, and the initiative switches over back to the Germans. So let's check again for weather. Weather remains good. It's a balmy September in 1939. So what are the Germans going to do? Once again, I come to the uh, German action tables. Now, because an airstrike was launched, in the very first turn of the game, but I mean, that's irrespective. We move from the early table to the late table, even though we are, strictly speaking, still in the early part of the game. The weather is good. Um, so I, 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 I cross reference depending on whether the weather is good or the weather is bad with the die roll. Um, let's see what happens. A two. That's an A. That's going to be another airstrike. So uh, no effect on German ships. There are no German ships out there, but they have a, another attempted pop. Um, again, planes coming out of Kiel. Uh, they're going to launch. Let's just bring the camera down and see if we can get a slightly closer view of the map. We're going to launch from here. They're going to strike the task force here. If they hit, then uh, we'll decide which of the ships uh, take any damage. Um, and again, the modifier that they're going to get with a air support from two hexes away is a plus one. So let's just mark that as a plus one. Um, air strike, we're rolling in a uh, against the trajectory of zero. My station counts as a zero trajectory. Plus one on the die roll. Three, four, five, six. Again, a miss. So long range attempts, um, but it's having no effect. After an airstrike, time lapse, if appropriate, and then vie for initiative. Again, highest die roll succeeds. Germans maintain initiative. Now, because they maintain the initiative, I'll just zoom back out. It's my new, rather rudimentary webcam and webcam mount. And not as professional as many of the uh, board gaming YouTube videos out there. But uh, uh, anyway, so up I go on the initiative tally. I'll get a plus one on any future initiative rolls. So the Germans maintain initiative. Go back to their table. Once again, we roll against their table. A one this time, and it's an E. So let's see. Well, oh, it's got end question mark. Well, I hope not, because I've only just started. So, good weather. If the weather is good and there is no British convoy in play, the scenario ends. Well, that's not the case. Fine. So we're not going to end. Refer to D 
debriefing. If a British convoy is in play, create a new German task force. Right, fine, here we go. So I'm going to create a new German task force with a battle cruiser and place the task force in Wilhelmshaven. It attempts to bring to battle the nearest British task force with a convoy. This is not good. It will avoid British controlled ports and air bases. It will avoid, if possible, airstrike range. So let's uh, go through those steps uh, one at a time. We're going to create the first German task force. So uh, we're just going to um, position that. Here we are, we'll take this one. Again, let's just zoom down because I mean, I think the action is going to take place in this segment of the map. So Wilhelmshaven. Um, Place, create a new task force with a battle cruiser in it. So I'm going to come to my, I'm going to randomly draw the first German battle cruiser out of it. The Tirpitz. Oh no, it's a, sorry, that's not a, that's a uh, BB, which stands for, if I check my uh, correct terminology, um, a BB is a battleship, a BC is a battle cruiser, and that's what I've been told to get. So the Gneisenau is going to be the battle cruiser in that German task force. So that's in Wilhelmshaven. It attempts to bring to battle the nearest task force with a convoy. Well, this, this is the nearest. It's two hexes away. Um, it will avoid British controlled ports and air bases. Now, that's interesting because it's not going to come anywhere here. So, in fact, I have to follow those rules really quite rigorously. I'm not going to come into any um, British, uh, he any hexes containing a British um, port. So in fact, that is going to change where they travel. And that's um, going to have to send it north up this way. So in fact, where I thought we might see them heading through into the English Channel to attack this convoy, to do so would bring them, as you can see, into the zone of a British port or um, airbase. Um, so let's um, take the zoom up because what it's going to have to do is come further out into the Atlantic and I think that's going to make it come for this convoy. So let's try and map this in the most logical way because what it doesn't say is it will avoid British task force. So let's come this way. We want to stay as far out of range of airstrike range. Well, I don't think that's going to be possible. I mean, it says it will avoid, if possible, airstrike range. So I just don't see that that is feasible. So let's just follow this. Now let's, and I think by this point it hardly matters that I'm, but let's just stay as far out, just because you never know, we may, I mean, actually, if we if we send it up this way, then we are staying away. You know, if I manage to shorten the trajectory, okay, it's coming a long way. But uh, worth noting that the airbase up here, sorry, uh, I'm sending it all the way up here. Um, there's an A base up here, which doesn't come into play until 1942. So all the time I'm trying to stay away two hexes. So I don't want to get there. I want to, in fact, this is a convoluted route, but so be it. Now, 
It says bring to battle. Well, I'm not going to be able to bring to battle. I'm going to have to do the best I can to bring to battle. Um, assuming I've uh, interpreted the rules correctly. So let's just double check. It attempts to bring to battle the nearest British task force with a convoy. It will avoid British controlled ports and air bases. It will avoid, if possible, airstrike range. Um, so I've sent it on a long looping trajectory. Um, the instructions say bring to battle. The selected task force must perform actions most likely to trigger a battle. This might only require an engage action. A trajectory action may be performed first. Use the most direct route while avoiding enemy air bases and ports and avoid enemy air support range if possible. Um, so that's the best I can do at this point. Um, so that was a trajectory action. The next thing I could do would be a naval search to see if I can identify the convoy. So let's try the naval search. Well, um, I mean, I think the chances of success are going to be quite low, but let's uh, let's work our way through this. So the active task force we know is this task force. Here we are, well, we can take it off. So that's the active task force. It's trying to search against this task force. Um, there are no modifiers because we're obviously outside um, air support range. There's no coordinating task force. Um, however, there is intel against this German. There is some intelligence picked up because as it comes through the station, this segment picks up a bit of intel. Um, and that is going to give the British, or give me a chance to uh, interrupt the action. Um, but no modifier. So let's try my interrupt first of all. So the interruption, I roll on the interruption table, which is down here. Um, in fact, I'm not going to be able to show every, everything on this map, so um, to take my word for it. So on the interruption table, I roll two dice. That's a roll of five. There's one Intel marker. So it's a minus one to my attempt to search. So there's going to be a minus one die roll. Um, I'm just going to mark that to remind me. And so now we come to the naval search. Now, the, we add up the trajectory lengths of both the active task force, that's my task force, and the task force that I'm searching, that's well above 16. Um, there's going to be minus one to the die roll. Let's die, roll the die. That's seven minus one, which is six. A six is this early or late result. So what we do with that is we remove that segment and then obviously I get to choose uh, which half of the trajectory, and really I think this was a rather foolish attempt by the Germans. So in trying to sneak through the North Sea and, and engage that convoy and potentially identify and destroy it, they've uh, in fact taken such a long time that they've got there too late. And that's one of the great things I love about this game, actually, is that um, um, it creates that sort of completely um, um, authentic narrative that uh, in making this long journey, it does this interesting sort of uh, telescoping of time. Um, and uh, in traveling there during that time, my convoy has traveled across the Atlantic in calm September seas. Um, and uh, has travelled further than the Germans anticipated. Anyway, so there we are, that's the naval search. Um, we then time lapse, and because the NICE now is a fast ship, I can remove four segments um, one, 
two, three. But note, because there's an Intel marker, in fact, I'm limited to removing two if I remove the Intel marker. So I'm going to remove, I want to remove four. I don't want like, like this long um, trajectory. So I'm going to remove one, two, three, four. Let's just shorten my trajectory. Um, so in fact, I hadn't, I'm somewhere on this route. I hadn't even got as far down as intersecting, or potentially intersecting the convoy route. Um, so that's the naval search. Uh, I now attempt to seize initiative. Um, now, as it happens, I've got a plus one uh, initiative tally. Um, so I get plus one to my die roll. I seize the initiative on a nine or more. Five plus one, six, so I fail. So I now get an increase on my uh, next initiative die roll. So the Germans keep the initiative and this battle cruiser is going to, con uh, actually no, I have to, I now re-roll for, um, for the German action. Um, but I think at that point, I'm gonna wait, check I've got the rules right and uh, pick this up later.